hello guys how are you guys doing welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to my channel this is Adon Haji's channel on youtube straight my channel is all about lifestyles motherhood entertainment talk about true life stories to bring to you guys our any nice video i come across to discuss about health related issues and environmental cleaning oh yes there is this particular video i want to draw please after watching it let's meet at the comment section as usual let us know your opinion and your thoughts okay Bye bye, you guys. I love you guys, and I will keep loving you guys. Bye bye. Look at our traditional leaders and the slave trade. We blame the white for the slave trade we went through. We blame the whites that they offended us. They took us as slaves. But let's wait for a minute. Who sold the black man to the whites? Who sold the black man to the whites? Our own traditional leaders. The enemy is not outside. The enemy is within. If we are asking the Europeans to pacify us and also to apologize to us, our traditional leaders must be the first to apologize on behalf of their ancestors for the evil they have done against their fellow blacks. Look at our attitude towards the environment and the destruction of our water bodies. All our river bodies have turned into dark brown. And you know what they said? In the next 20 years, if we don't stop this illegal mining, Ghana, we will import water to drink. Yet we don't care. And Chinese people will come from their country into our forest, destroy our forest, destroy our land, and illegally mine and damage our waters. How can they come? If the traditional leaders didn't give them permission to do that. And in one instance, while they were dead, our military went there to protect them. Our own military that is supposed to protect us, rather protected the foreigners to destroy our water and destroy our forest. The enemy is not outside, the enemy is within. If you look at our own systems and structures in our country, we don't have a better system to improve the lives of people. Pastor, I was surprised when I read in China, they had a 10-year vision and they said from 2011, their vision was that in 10 years from 2011, and 10 years from 2011 will be what year? This year, 2021, that they will raise over 20% of the people to become multi-millionaires. Now in 2021, they have 1.8 million Chinese who are multi-millionaires in China. And they are between the age of 40 to 50 years. Multi-millionaires. The government intentionally decided that they would make sure they will have 20% of the population multi-millionaires. They also agreed that they will make sure that they will lift up the poorest of the poor. And they lifted 100 million people from begging to live a better life. But in this country, in our country, we fight our own businessmen. Our government will fight our business people. When they know that your business is thriving, and they know that perhaps you are not sympathetic towards the running party or the ruling party, they will fight you, collapse your company, and make you poor. When in China, they want to make the people rich. In Africa, we want to make our own people poor. The enemy is not outside. The enemy is within. Look at our African leaders. How much they stole, the money they stole away. We are told in Gambia, Jamal Yaha, he stole 11 million US dollars from his own country, Gambia. Sunny Abacha stole between 1 billion to 5 billion dollars out of Nigeria. Hosni Mubarak stole 17 million US dollars in eight years. The enemy is not outside. The enemy to our own progress is within. Look at our presidents, the presidents who were fighting for our independence, what we did to them. In Togo, the man who fought for the independence of Togo called Silvanus Olympio. When Togo got independence, he decided that they would not use the French franc. The French CFA, they decided they, they decided they will have their own Togo currency. And you know what? They, they used Iyadema to kill him and to get rid of him. When Olympus wanted to make Togo great, the enemy within, the Judas within, killed him. In Burkina Faso, the man who gave them independence, Maurice Yamego, was eliminated by his own people. When Thomas Sankara came, his own body group killed him and got rid of him. The enemy is not outside. The enemy is within. You look at our own country, Kwame Nkrumah, 
started a new vision to develop Ghana and who, who, who undermined him from within? They threw him out by Kutuka. Today we celebrate Kwame Nkrumah, but their own Judas will damage him. I pray that the man who organized that coup to betray Kwame Nkrumah and for us to name our airport after him, Kotoka International Airport, I think we should start a national conversation to change the name of the Kotoka International Airport. Because as long as that name is, we have endorsed coup. We have endorsed enemies that will fight the progress of our nation. We must change the name of Kotoka International Airport to Kwame Nkrumah International Airport. The enemy is not outside, the enemy is within. We need to ask God to give us a new character. Let's change our behavior and have new values. Because the person will be smiling with you. Smiling with you, yet he will stab you at the back. How can you have a father who wants to destroy your life? Yet in Africa, we have governments that do not want to make the people or improve the lives of the people. When in overseas, their government have created an environment for every citizen to be better. Why is it that our governments can't think about the welfare of the citizens? And we kill the businesses of our own people.